before I started my full-time job, one of the biggest things that I wondered was how different it was going to be versus the three internships that I'd had back when I was in college. Well, it's officially been four weeks at my new job, which means I'm basically an expert, in which case, these are the differences you need to know about between being an intern and being a full-time. The first big difference between being an intern and being a full-time is that there's way less time pressure in terms of feeling like you have to get everything done as fast as possible. Generally speaking, most internships are between 10 and 12 weeks, which means you have a couple weeks of ramping up, then probably two months or so of actually working on the project, and at the end, you're probably preparing for a final presentation or some sort of thing to wrap up the summer. As a full-time, as you can probably guess, there's not nearly as much time pressure because realistically, you aren't going anywhere anytime soon. As much as I wanna start contributing quickly and integrating in with my team, there's way less time pressure because you know you're gonna be working there for more than three months and you're not concerned about getting a return offer in that time. Difference number two seems to be that you're less likely to be working on a niche individual contributor project and you're a lot more likely to become part of a bigger team project. And after all, that makes sense. If you're only gonna be there for three months to get you fully ramped up on a really large scale project with a lot of different moving parts, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to make a big impact versus giving you a smaller project or maybe even your own project where you can make a big impact and you can be the main contributor to it during your 12 week span. On a related note, I also find that you're interfacing with more people as a full-time than you did as an intern. Depending on who you are, that might be a good or a bad thing. I definitely enjoyed working on my own solo projects as an intern, but I also recognize that in order to build a big scalable project, it's important to be able to work with other people so that we can all contribute to something bigger than any one person could do. The third big difference as a full-time, which I definitely appreciate, is that there's a lot more emphasis on pay, perks, and benefits compared to when you were an intern. Now, obviously this is gonna vary quite a bit from company to company, but I've definitely noticed as a full-time a lot more emphasis of talking about things like your 401k matching, your healthcare benefits, your employee stock purchase plan, and just other general things like that. This has also been my first time getting access to vacation days, which normally isn't an issue during an internship. However, it does give you a lot more flexibility if you do wanna take a summer vacation, because otherwise, as an intern, you're generally stuck for 12 weeks working without any days off. The last main difference I want to talk about, which I'm sure will definitely vary depending on your intern program, is that there's way less events scheduled for full-times than there are for interns. This makes a lot of sense. When you're full-time, they're no longer trying to wine and dine you and sell you on the company. You're already working there. However, as an intern, they're trying to convince you to come back potentially as a full-time, and as a result, they really want to sell you on the culture, the mission, and all the cool things that the company has going on. That being said, as an intern, it generally didn't seem like you had too many work-related commitments, so it was okay to excuse yourself for an afternoon to do activities related to the company. However, as a full-time you have a lot more commitments so it makes sense that you're going to be going to less activities that take up all of your time. Originally this video was only going to be about the differences but I decided there were a couple core similarities that were worth sharing. First off is that imposter syndrome is going to be very real when you start your internship as well as your full-time job. There's going to be a ton of stuff you don't know and you're going to be asking a lot of questions either way. Companies don't expect you to magically have gained all sorts of knowledge in your senior year or your junior year of college that's suddenly going to make you a fully independent engineer once you actually start as a full-time. If there's one thing I've learned though, it's to ask lots of questions. When you first get started, there's going to be a ton of stuff you don't know, which is perfectly okay. They don't expect you to know everything, but make sure you're asking the questions of people with expertise and knowledge because they're generally more than willing to help you just have to go and ask. As an intern or as a full-time, I found that it's totally normal to get overwhelmed by just how much stuff there is to get integrated with when you have almost no experience working in those code bases or technologies. But trust me, give it some time, ask lots of questions, and you will be perfectly fine. The other big similarity I've noticed, which is related to the previous point, is that the expectation for what kind of code you're gonna be writing is very similar as an intern and as a full-time. One of the biggest things I worried about before starting as a full-time was what level of coding expertise was going to be expected from me. As an intern, there was always a lot of leeway and it was understood that you were still in college and working through these things. But now that I'd graduated, was I expected to be an expert on all this stuff? The answer was, unsurprisingly in hindsight, no. In my first four weeks, I wasn't architecting any new big systems or working on these huge features. I was mostly doing small things, doing bug fixes here or there, contributing to a small feature, and getting comfortable with the code base, seeing what was already there, and how I could integrate into it. To really understand a large code base and to be able to contribute to it effectively, it takes time playing around with it and understanding how things actually fit together. In the future, as I grow as a software engineer, I'm excited to design larger systems and work on big features, but in the meantime, I have to earn my stripes and I have to keep learning from other people and learning on my own until I can get to that point. It's gonna be a process, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. All right, I know I skimmed over a bunch of stuff, so if you have any questions at all about being an intern or a full-time, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, consider sharing it and hitting that thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for new videos coming very soon. That's it, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.